Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the ESOP Rebel 205 uh, AC-DC machine. So we've been getting a lot of questions on this machine with consumables, uh, regulators, and switchover. So that's what we're going to cover today in this video. We're going to talk about switchover, uh, consumables, and the regulator. So exclusive to bakersgas.com is a consumable kit. So it's an $86 value and it can be yours for $60 with that kit. And remember, this is exclusive to Baker's Gas. So we built them ourselves. We have the MIG consumable kit for this thing. So the ESOP Rebel uses the Fusion series consumables. So Fusion 180 MIG gun. It says right on the front, open our kit up. You get a Baker's Gas sticker, Rebel sticker, and a Baker's Gas helmet sticker. So what it comes with is 023 contact tips, 030 contact tips, and 035 contact tips. Comes with a flush nozzle and then a recess nozzle. So like I said, $86 value, all that can be yours for $60. So pretty good kit. Comes in a nice carrying case. Um, so we keep track of your reorder stuff online also. So if you need more, you can just go back and hit reorder. But it comes in this nice case. Ships free also. So another exclusive thing, if you already own a 205, you can just purchase this kit for $60. And we'll link that all down below to give you the options on everything. So another question that we constantly get is how many regulators does this come with? It only comes with one. But right now we have a deal going with the Victor flow meter. So for this is a $200, $220 regulator. We got it on sale right now for $99. So if you already owned, again, own a 205, you can purchase this for $99. Or if you put this in your cart, you can add this for $99. So you'll have two, two regulators. Because that leads me to my next question is hook up and switch over. So on the back of this unit, as you can see here, there's two ports. So we're gonna have two regulators hooked up at all, all at once. And that'll be, uh, you can just add that regulator right there. You can leave them hooked up on your cart with two gas cylinders, one, remember, argon gas, and then your mixed gas for MIG welding. Let's, let's show, show the switch over on this unit. So, a lot of questions. Can I leave the MIG gun hooked up while I go to TIG weld? So if I'm gonna go flip-flop back and forth. Yes, you can. The answer is yes, you can. They, um, I know in our last video, we didn't quite cover that. This is just, just going over that part. So we plugged in the MIG gun. We got it in our positive. So, let's see, you're gonna ground. Ground goes to the negative terminal, and because we're MIG welding. So we got our ground hooked up. And then we have our trigger wire lead. Goes in the front of the machine here. Only goes in one way. And it's a quick twist system. Here. Goes in one way, there we go. So now we're hooked up for MIG welding. So if we go to MIG weld, we're good to go. The only thing we have to do when we go to TIG is you can leave the MIG gun hooked up so we'll put that right up here. You undo the positive terminal, move the ground to the positive terminal, put your TIG torch into the negative terminal, put your gas hose into that front gas inlet for the TIG torch, disconnect the trigger wire right here, and then we have our foot foot pedal wire and that goes in where the trigger wire goes. So as you can see we didn't take the MIG gun out we only flip flopped the two leads and we just flip flopped our trigger wires. So now the foot pedal's hooked up, TIG torch is hooked up, gas is in. Now if we want to go back to MIG you don't have to disconnect the gas you just have to disconnect your foot pedal and your terminal for your torch you put your ground back to negative. You put the MIG gun into the positive, right? And then we just hook the trigger wire back up. So, TIG torch is still hooked up, gas line is still hooked up. So if you have a nice cart or something, you can hang all this stuff on just to show you that you don't have to change. You don't have to pull everything apart and take everything out and then put it all back together. Um, just a quick setup for that, that unit. Thanks for watching my video. Like I said before, there's uh, there's a lot of deals going on. So if you go to buy this machine, just remember that's a consumable kit, extra regulator. Also, today we've got this nice little new thing. It is a mid gun holder. So 
if you go ahead and add this to your cart, you can see the special instant savings. We got a deal on it right now. I'll show you how that works though. It goes in, it just hooks on right there. So it's magnetic, hooks to your steel workbench. Pretty cool. So there's a lot of other videos on the 205. Uh, we'll link those below so you can watch the loop of them that goes over a lot of breakdown on this unit. We weld with it too in the other videos. But thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more.